picture, if we send this picture to the commander, we also get a range of bearing to it from our no position. That's what this page shows us. Uh, we can send the picture, so go ahead and pull up the target nav again. We can take a picture, a photo of that target with this, this grid on it, and that gives the commander the ability to associate that known target with that grid, and he can plot it immediately uh, based on that without having to try to figure out where we are in relationship to the target. And it also gives him, the, uh, he can figure out if we're looking at the right target. It gives us, let us know that we're looking at the right target. Go ahead. targets. Roger, Avenger 6 attack base, Roger, at, engage at will. I request, uh, when possible, send uh, additional images over.
figured out we just departed on a mission to go recon an area where a similar area was set up and several ordering aircraft and support vehicles were located in the tree line. En route, we received a change of mission with the photo T. You're able to see that on the screen in both seats, copy down the information, visually see the map, and, and go ahead and act on that. That took us to another area which had an ammunition bunker, several other uh, built-in areas where we engaged with artillery. We were able to send back grids using the imaging system, take pictures of the target area. This is a new air system uh, for the H-64. The big thing about it is it uh, fits in the same space as our current TAC-1000 VCR. Same space, same weight. There's three major components. It includes this uh, high 8 millimeter uh, recorder here, the photo T type transmitter receiver up here, and then the scan converter, which takes uh, our image, which is uh, 875, and converts it to a usable 525. It's a friendly unit as far as the 8 millimeter tape. Just reach up, grab it, standard tape. It'll run the entire length of a normal mission, which is good. And our current unit right now only holds about an hour, so that's an advantage to the system here. It also holds a short, uh, small disc there that we can input information into the system before we take off, and also we can uh, put information on the disc and retrieve it for after the mission when we get, get down. Pretty user-friendly system, no real problems, and again, the big thing about it is same space, same weight as the uh, current system, the current TAC-1000 three-quarter VCR. Uh, another advantage of the system is the uh, ease of, of maintenance and uh, installing the system. It's uh, the high 8 millimeter and the scan converter are uh, fully formed functional replacement for our current TAC-1000 three-quarter, which is a real nice function. This, uh, the phototelesis transmitter that sits on top of this, uh, right next to the 8 millimeter and the scan uh, converter, uh, runs two cables that run over into the KY-58 over here for secure transmissions, so our images are sent secure. And then finally the third cable uh, runs up to the cockpit, which uh, runs all the controls that we use the system. So it's real easy to put in, and it's, uh, it's really user-friendly as far as I don't need this system. It replaces, uh, completely replaces the current uh, T-1000 VCR that we have in the airplane right now.